How's it going everybody? Welcome back to The Average Garage. Today's episode, we're working on a Pajero. I'm a bit held up with the Falcon at the moment. Um, some things happened, I'm waiting for some bits. So you'll find out about that later. Anyways, so for now, the Pajero Sport is going to be attacked because a while ago in the service video if you watched that you would have seen I've ripped off a bash plate mount so today's episode got some I think this is three mil tube so we're gonna make some bash plate mounts and yeah this one has seen a few too many ugga duggers uh, because the nut is pretty much stripped and obviously it's broken off the chassis so we're gonna make our own we're gonna make sure they're probably over engineered if anything I'm gonna test my welding skills and hopefully not set the car on fire. So let's get into it and uh, let's start making these bash plate mounts. All right, so the car's up on the ramps now. So we're gonna go into the shed. We're gonna fabricate some bash plate mounts. Then we're gonna come back out with the welder and the grinder and get to work. I think the car should be this height all the time. It's friggin' monster truck at the moment. Alright, so all I've done is cut out this little triangle. I've cut out a couple of them. The first one I just welded the whole friggin' plate to it and then cut it out afterwards, but I found this way is actually better because it gives me a sort of divot to fill with weld, which will make it stronger. So, yeah. But, you know, I'm learning as I'm going. Um, like I said, I'm no professional welder. This one is done. Uh, it doesn't look pretty by any means, but boy, it'll be strong. So, yeah, I shaved it off, got a new linisher outside. So that was able to make quick work of that. And uh, yeah, that should be good enough to weld to the chassis of the car. So I'm just gonna weld these two uh, sides on. Once that's done, I can fill the inside with weld um, just to make it stronger. And then I can worry about cutting the old ones off the car and welding these ones on. All right, with two basic as shit mounts made, let's uh, go check out the car and then we can weld them in. Now these are thicker than the original mounts. I don't know what I've done with it now. It's around here somewhere. There. So they're quite a bit thicker. I think these are three mil, that's two mil, or they look a bit, at least a mil thicker and they are a lot more structurally sound. These are just a piece of C channel. This is a fully encapsulated piece. So yeah, let's uh, go rip the bash plates off the car and inspect. Okay, so as you can see, that is the broken mount there, or what's left of it. Now, we go over here, that's the good mount still, but similar to the other one, it's seen too many ugga duggers and the nut is pretty much stripped. So now we're gonna disconnect the battery, we're gonna cut what's remaining of that off, and cut that off. 
All right, so battery disconnected, disconnected the earth. It's always best to disconnect the earth when doing anything on the vehicle that involves electricity or wiring. So earth's disconnected, it's easier for me to just take the, um, what you'd call the fusible link or the uh, smart sensor for the alternator. It's easier just to take that off instead of screwing around with the actual terminal itself. So I've just done that, 12 mil, and yeah. Now we can get to grinding this stuff off. All right, so what I've done here is I've just put a bolt into this new mount here. So what I can do is actually have it in place for when I tack it in place. So what I'm gonna do is bring it up with one hand, give it a quick tack, undo everything, and then I'll be able to push the other side into the body if I need to. But what this does, because I put the rear bolts in and it's hanging on this front one here as well, what it gives me the ability to do is to make sure that the bolt holes or the nuts are central with the bash plates. That way I know that when all this gets bolted up, it's all gonna be in line and it's all gonna fit. So I'll just make sure the bolt is in the middle of this slot and then push back into the body or the chassis and then I can just tack it and go from there. All right, the first one's welded on. I probably should have set the welder up a bit better. I had to do two passes there because it turns out I actually missed the joint completely. But this is under the car so nobody gives a shit and also a grinder comes in handy if you're terrible at welding. So that one's done. Now I'm going to cut this one off and uh, yeah, smooth it all off again like I did that one, grind all the paint away so it's a nice clean area to work with. And then I'm gonna refit the bash plate again um, just so we can line this side up once that's done. Uh, yeah, we can tack it in place and then weld this one in. Folks, they're both done. Like I said before, I'm no professional welder, but they're good enough. So what I'm gonna do now is rip this bash plate off. I'm going to attack everywhere that I've exposed with metal, including my earth, with just some black paint. And that should stop this rusting. Um, it won't rust properly, but it will surface rust, which I really don't care about, but I know a lot of people do. So yeah, all I'm gonna do is give it a really quick wire brush and then a quick lick of paint and then put the bash plates on and we're ready for next weekend's full drive trip. Alright guys, new bash plate mounts are done. They're painted up, they're all ready to go. So now I can fit the bash plates back up and it's all complete. So before we end the video, I just want to say please go and check out the Patreon. As of, I don't know, probably next week, I'm going to start having everybody's name written on the hoist, whoever is a Patreon member. Um, it helps the channel out. Uh, it's as much or as little as you want to donate and your name will be immortalized on the hoist as well as at the end of each video. So go check that out. Check out the Instagram, check out the Facebook, please give us a shout and uh, yeah, follow the progress. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you've had this happen, I wanna hear down below where it happened, how it happened, and what you did to get around it, if, if you were, had to rip them off and chuck them in the back or whatever. Thank you very much, and we'll see you all next episode. Peace, guys.